How's it going, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanet, the visual novel. And I know there are other games I need to get to. I still need to beat Tomb Raider, which is like one of the things I know people still watch. Still need to fucking beat, I don't know, Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I could have done more of that. But I need some visual novel goodness. It's part of a nutritional diet, and I need to look after myself. Anyway, previously, well, we had some issues with Tomio. We kept shooing Sunahara out of his room. And now, I don't know. I don't know if things are going to end good or bad. But regardless, I know they're ending soon. It's not going to be long until I have to say goodbye to my main girl. I mean, apparently the last, like, fucking day is May 11th. And we're in May now, which isn't great. But it's fine. I'll date another girl that I actually like. So not Furukawa. Please, Lord, not the infant. Anyway, where's this going to go? Going to open those curtains again? Ling. Uh, oh, hey, bitch. Tommy, it's morning. Yeah, I kind of figured by the blazing light that's going to blind me outside. Mm, yeah. So I guess today marks the last day of your suspension. Oh, joy. I have to go back to school. Yeah. You're half asleep again, aren't you? Aren't I always? Yeah. Are you ugly? Yeah. <laughs> so it seems I've been thinking that. Thanks. I bet you a bloody joke. Isn't it nice that even someone like you could get a beautiful girlfriend like me? Yeah. Make sure you don't let a wonderful girlfriend like myself go. Yeah. Never... You hear me? Yeah. Or have you perhaps started to get tired of me? Nope. Not at... <laughs> well, I'm glad that he said it just at the right time there. Huh? So you weren't actually half asleep? How could I be after facing a barrage of questions like that? No, I'm wide awake. Then say so sooner. You made me ask such embarrassing questions. Well, it's true. You're a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, I know. It's sad that something's going to happen. I know it is. Either that or all these parallel universes are like all the different girlfriends I could end up with or some shit. I don't know. Maybe the game would be like that, but that'd be very bad for our after story. Don't say that. And I guess I'm ugly. I could tell you that to your face even if you weren't asleep. You could? Well, in any case, I should get going. <laughs> you better not fall asleep again, all right? Yeah, well, I don't really have anything to do right now. That's not something I'd expect a student to say right before their final exams. I gave up on college a long time ago. Well, so much for giving up now. Now you've got to deal with what Tomoyo wants you to do. You, know, you don't have any freedom anymore. What a troublesome person. So I'll just stay in and work on making my feelings for you well up. <laughs> That's always a nice productive thing. Oh, no, she doesn't like it. Okay. I appreciate your feelings welling up. Well, she does kind of appreciate them. But you better not start thinking anything dirty. Is this girl, like, not into our penis or something? Is she scared of my big, long snake? That's a <laughs> that's asking the impossible from a healthy young male locked up in his room. Idiot, just don't. Nah, I probably will. Idiot, if you just announce something like that to me, I won't be able to concentrate on my class. Oh, okay. So, is she getting turned on by this? Or is she just like, I'm kind of concerned for my life now? Uh, <laughs> in any case, right here and now. Or, why don't you imagine those things too, then? Well, I mean, it's both dirty conversation I need to go with. You're imagining it too. Uh, why don't you imagine those things too, then? What things? You're not telling me to go imagine decent things as well, are you? She's being awfully scary. I wouldn't really call this scary. I'd just say she's very, you know, she's acting like a, a virgin. I mean, she probably is a virgin. A nun, that's it. She's acting like a nun. I'll do it, but I'm not going to imagine anything indecent. Yeah, imagining me without my shirt off. That's, that's real, like, XXX material. Triple X. I'll think about things like how I look forward to spending Golden Week with you starting tomorrow. Alright, cool, well... Uh, it's good to know that you love me physically. Am I repulsive? Are you going to end up as a lesbian? If you end up as a lesbian, I'll be sad and disappointed, but I wouldn't be surprised. How about you imagine a bit harder? Just as promised, I'll make you lunch. And after that, with just the two of us, okay, in your room, okay, we'll take a look at your old albums. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be the best. Okay, clearly this girl doesn't know what a bone is. See you later. What's this? It's almost like you're kicking me out. You're going to be late. Ah, you're right. Yeah, we're clearly saying that because we care about her being on time. I guess I'll get going then. Okay. You be good and wait for me, all right? Okay. Um, and so... 
Today I went at the bottom of the hill again for Tommy, who'd come back from school. Going back to the talking about imagining um, a bit of action here and there. Interesting we do that with Tomio. We make out with Tomio, and yet we don't really do any of that with full colour. Does that not tell you something about how even the main character feels about the girl he's meant to be with? I say meant to be with, because I think that's where the game wants me to go. And I don't want to go. I mean, I only found this girl because I I, I pressed all the right buttons. I think I'm meant to be with Furukawa, and yet this guy doesn't even like her that much. I mean, he's not got much of an erection for her. This is a really inappropriate video, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. As classes end, many groups of students start traveling down the slope. Huh? Hey, weren't you suspended or something? A lone male student stops in front of me. Judging by the colour of his emblem, he's a second year. You're talking awfully casually to me for a second year. It's not like we're in the same club or anything, so don't sweat such small stuff. I only told you because I figured you didn't know. Why? Thanks. He completely ruined the mood. All I wanted was to just keep waiting here, thinking of Tomoyo. Even among us second years, there are rumours going around about how you two doing stuff for some... Or how about you two doing some crazy stuff? I don't know what happened there, like my senses just got destroyed there. At this point, you guys are practically celebrities. Well, get me out of here then, because this is bullshit. Are you trying to pick a fight? Not at all, I just wanted to see what kind of person she was with. Does, does everyone fancy Tomio, but not me? Am I not that attractive with whatever colour hair I have? I remember being purple, but maybe it's not. What? Are you interested in Tomio or something? Don't get the wrong idea here. Unlike you, my taste in women are normal. So, what? you saying that she's not attractive. Alright, well this kid's weird. Is it the hair? Is it the wrong colour? You bastard, you really are trying to pick a fight, aren't you? I'm not, just, just hear me out. I'm not interested in her like that, I'm just curious about her. Right. She really is an interesting person. I feel like I want to be beside her, watching over her. Isn't that the exact same thing? Well, you can interpret it however you want. However, I suggest you hold off on making the things you do too public. Yeah, well, you know what? Now I'm going to get naked and just do it right out in the park. Oh, I, I right-clicked by accident there. Out of frustration. That's all I want to say. You do realise how jealous you sound, right? Like I said, I'm not. I really don't care what kind of relationship you two have. Just don't go bragging and spread these rumours yourself. Something snaps in the back of my mind. If you're trying to pick a fight, just say so. I grab him by his collar. The students walking home will avoid us, passing us by. And you should stop doing things like this too. What happens to you might not matter in the end, but it's different for her, don't you agree? Tomoya? That familiar voice. Just at the sound of it, I find myself relaxing my grip on him. Well, take care. He brushes away my arm, then runs off. What happened to him? I'm trying to figure that out myself. So, well, this guy's just like, yeah, don't do it in public. Like, don't show you... I mean, I'm guessing it's the fact that maybe she, like, I don't know. He's curious about, like, her and what she'd find in me, maybe? I, I don't know. Like, that was just a bit strange for me, but whatever. Hmm, all right, well, I, I know what happened, but let's see what, what Tommy thinks. Tommy comes running up, filling the space where the guy had been standing. Some crazy person started falsely accusing me of something. What did he say? He asked what I was doing here, even though I was suspended. Is it true you were here? Yeah. Well, then he was right. Suspension is the same as being under house arrest. You're not supposed to go out. Oh, jeez. Does the government try and comply with this this exp expulsion? I'm happy you came to see me, but you should do things by the book. Why couldn't you just be good and wait at your house? Because I miss you. Because I need you. My time with you is so limited right now. I've got like nine days left with you. Because I wanted to see you as soon as possible. Why is it that I've become so docile in front of Tomoyo? Maybe because you fancy her. Maybe because, you know... I was going to say it's those big breasts, but she's quite a flat pack. No, I'm not like a terrible, like, like inside-out boobs, but, you know... Not much lumpage there, that's what I'm saying. Even my anger has subsided. Yes, so did I. But you know, Tomoyo, you should try and improve your behaviour. Hmm, yeah... Just because it's her, I even end up just nodding and agreeing to this. Alright, cool, and then we go to Sunahara's and take his house over, I guess. I couldn't be with her all the way into the night, so I decide to hang out in Sunahara's room like I always do. But one, uh, once morning arrives tomorrow, I'll finally be able to spend time with Tomoyo for a while. 
That's quite a happy face you're making there. Yeah, is it because I had some nice time with my girlfriend? D did we did we bang out of the question? Probably not, but whatever. Is it? Is it really? Am I showing my thoughts on my face again? That's actually kind of embarrassing if so. Even though your girlfriend has been going through some rough times in school, or tough even. What? Did something happen with Tomio? Just as we feared, a lot of rumors have been going around. About what happened the other day, I mean. Mm -hmm. Shall we go for a bit? Where to? To school. Wh why? Isn't it night time or something? Isn't that a bit strange? You'll get it when you see it. There's barely anyone around there at this time, so we sh shouldn't get... Huh? Oh no, is that fucking poster, that uh, apply for council poster, like, oh, are you with a gangster? Or are you with the Yakuza or some shit? Oh dear. What does that bit mean on the right? Sorry, school's being closed. Unfortunately, Tomio's an asshole. She shouldn't have gone out with Tomio. Hmm, well, it, is, it sounds like it's asking something. Probably like, don't go over the, the gate. We get in front of the bulletin. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, damn, go! And now I finally feel ashamed for my own foolish, do you? Tomio's name is all messed up. There are so many things scribbled here. So many you couldn't even see there used to be someone's name written underneath it. This is my girlfriend's name, you know. <laughs> I love how he's still in his bed shirt. Every time they tried to fix the bulletin, it wouldn't take long at all for the board to be scribbled over again. Apparently even the election committee have given up on it. Well, they didn't try that hard then, did they? Clearly the school doesn't know how to, you know, support the student body. Meaning that what you guys did was that big of a scam. Really? I mean, I guess the Japanese are a dedicated lot, but this just seems a bit ridiculous. The rumors blew up and spread like wildfire. So right now, you guys are already known throughout the school as a couple. No surprise. So Nahara says that with a scornful laugh. I can only imagine how much the students must hate seeing us to... Why? Fucking why? <laughs> like, I know, like, there must have been, like... Well, I know looking back, there are certain girls I wish I had been able to date but couldn't. Obviously, the other ones that rejected me, I was like, okay, fine. But those girls, like, I never asked, you know, and they ended up with someone. And I was like, well, great, good for me. I guess I'm not going to end up with that ever. Or, like, you know, just to see where it would have gone. I'm happy with the girl I've got. That's not my point here. My point is, like, if you're with someone and someone else doesn't want you to be with them. Heck, even if it's everyone, they're not going to be, like, assholes about it, are they? After all, she's with me, of all people. Is it just the fact they all think that they can do better? Is that what the games are about? Like, why be this judgmental? It just seems so weird in that place. Perhaps she should just withdraw her candidacy before she's put to shame even more. Well, you know how she is. It seems she's not paying the rumors any attention at all. You won't know how it'll turn out to the very end, though. You think she'll make the election? Mm. You think she's going to lose? Yeah. Hmm. But this is a good thing for you, isn't it? You know your relationship wouldn't last very long if she became the student council president. But who's going to be her competitor? There's, there's no one else for her to go against, is there? No one wants to do it, that's my point. <laughs> well, I guess. It's not like she doesn't want to be with you either. So you don't think Tomio won't be a, would be a fine with pulling out? Maybe so. That is indeed what I should be wishing for. Even so, what are these complicated feelings welling up inside me? <laughs> So many things have happened so quickly one after another lately. I guess I just can't sort out my feelings. But given enough time, I'm sure these feelings will resolve themselves. Right now, I think I should be able to just be glad about all of this. From the very beginning, I wasn't the kind of guy who would feel remorse over things like this. My last year, I will spend this year with Tomio at this school. Because of all that's happened, that wish of mine will be granted. So I should just be glad. I've forgotten which wish this is, but whatever. Okay, now it's Saturday. I guess we're gonna... Okay, there's a fair few choices to make today, so I guess it's... Oh god, this music. To be fair though, I'm getting along with this music a bit more. It's more when it comes to the middle, it's good. The start is just horrible. It still feels like a flute's trying to destroy my mind. Um, the doorbell rings. Anyone nice? Anyone cool? I rush out my room and run toward the entrance. Who's there? Who on earth could it- Oh, nice shirt. I quickly slide open the door, and then I see the figure of Tomio in normal clothes, carrying a supermarket shopping bag. She should wear that more often. That suits her. Somehow I moved. What's wrong? This looks surprisingly good on you. 
He's, yeah, you're telling me. It's pretty rude saying it surprises you. Nah, I'm just to be surprised how beautiful you are. Don't just think everything I say is to insult you. Bitch. <laughs> okay, maybe I went a bit far there. Okay, then it looks crazily good on you. You know, it's almost like you're just lusting for me here. What's wrong with that? Why can't we just do a bit of anal? Well, a little bit. It's because it's a situation I've always longed for. Mm. Tommy looks around the room. May I ask you one question? Yeah, knock yourself out. Where's your father? Not here. Mm. He's not here during the day? Somehow I feel worried for, your own, or for my own safety. Well, the moment you're worried for your safety here is a moment I'll be pretty worried for mine. What? What do you mean by that? Nothing. I just meant that we'd be in the same boat if anything should happen. That's not how it started to me. Well, uh, take it as you will then. Yes, my cooking bitch is back. What is it? You enjoy watching me? See, this is the good part of the song. This nice little calm rhythm bit. And then it will come back to the flute attacking my brain. I do. I see. Well, I won't mind then. Yep, yeah, yeah like, what are you doing? How's that kettle coming along? Mm. But you know, it's pretty embarrassing being silently watched. Like a, uh, you're being stalked, like it's uh, Freddy Krueger over here. Or something. I don't even know, Jason Voorhees if you want. I can't really concentrate like this. How about we do something then? What do you plan on doing? Let's see. Um, your mum? <laughs> oh, so funny. All right. Tommy's not in the position to let go of the kitchen knife while she's using it. But she's not using it. Or the, the picture here doesn't show she's using it. Right now, no matter what I do with her, she probably wouldn't resist at all as long as she's cooking. Even if it's something perverted. Uh, run a simulation. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'd probably go something like this. Oh. Well, I think we're going to save this for the next episode. You know, I mean, now the music's changed to silly music, and I feel like I can end the episode anyway, so there you go. Next time we'll see the simulation, we'll see how far this goes, how awkward this gets. But is it going to be really bad, or is it going to be really, really, really embarrassingly bad? Well, you guys got to see that in the next episode. If you want to play the game for yourself, see if you can flirt with Tomio appropriately. Be linked to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, the book's crunch, it's time. See ya!